Ah, uh, come on, Dream Machine. Don't fail me now. Ah, nuts. Give me a break. Maybe if I push this button here. Um, maybe if I flip this switch. Um, yeah. Oh, over here. Hi, Calvary Kids. Give me a sec. Calvary Kids, I'm Alice. I'm an author. That means I write stories. I've been trying to get this dream machine to come up with an ending for my latest book. Sometimes it can be real finicky. It's done. My story is all about a magic theater that when you step onto it, it'll take you wherever you want to go as long as you're on stage. I call it magic theater. Let's see what the Dream Machine came up with as my ending. And the puppy saved the day. The end? There wasn't even a puppy in the whole story. What kind of ending is this? Oh, this blasted machine. Hey, I heard a bunch of racket. Is everything okay? Oh, uh, Calvary Kids, it's Frangelica. Can you say hi, everyone? Hi, Calvary Kids. What's going on, Alice? Uh, I'm just having trouble with the dream machine, that's all. Ugh, it's acting up again. Yeah, and I was trying to come up with a really cool ending to show Calvary Kids, but it didn't work. Yeah, it's been acting really weird lately. Look at this piece of paper it printed out for me. Frangelica, did you know that forgiveness is one of the toughest things to do? Hmm, what do you think, Calvary Kids? Is forgiveness that hard? Yeah, I guess it can be. I wonder how we'll learn forgiveness today. Hey, Alice, are you done using the machine? Ugh, yes, I am so done with the machine. Maybe you can get it to work. Say, what do you need it for? I want to write a theme song for the Imagination Factory. That's so cool, give us a sneak peek. What's the song about? It's a song that's all about how coming into the theater is like being transported to another place. Wait, what? Yeah, it's an idea that I've been thinking about for years. I call the song Magic Theater. That's the name of my book. Cover kids, Frangelico stole my idea. I, I didn't steal anything. I, I, I made it up myself. Calvary Kids, didn't I tell you about my idea first? That means it's my idea. Just because you told them first doesn't mean you thought of it first. Calvary Kids, didn't I say I've been thinking of this for years? See? Listen, Frangelica, I'm writing this book as an act of worship to God. So, I think that the title is mine. It's funny that you should say that because I've written this song as an act of worship to God too. So I win. There's no way I'm going to let you take this idea from me. Well, there's no way I'm going to let you finish that book either, plagiarist. I'm going to go work on my songs by myself. <sighs> Can you believe her, Calvary Kids? Hey, Alice. Hey, what's wrong? I just got in a big fight with Frangelica. What happened? Well, I've been trying to write this book called The Magic Theater, but then Frangelica says she's writing a song called The Magic Theater, so she stole my idea, but then she says that I stole her idea. Oh boy. Hey, I have an idea. Every kid, do you know what's happening? A Bible? Why a Bible? Let me see that. Look, there's a bookmark in here. Oh no, I know what that means and I'm not happy about it. Why? Because I am now it's gonna tell us a story about how Frangelica and I should forgive each other. <laughs> Maybe, but Jesus says that if we're gonna give an offering to God and we have something against another person, we need to forgive them and then give our offering. So what? That means God doesn't want your song or your book if it's gonna cause you to hate each other. <gasps> but my song is my masterpiece. But if your masterpiece causes unforgiveness, then it doesn't count with God. I know we're supposed to apologize after hearing what Jesus said, but I don't want to. If I say sorry for calling her a thief, then that means she wins. I won't do it. I really want to write my book with God, 
But if I'm fighting with someone, my service doesn't count. No book is worth losing my peace with God. All right, Alice, I Hold know on, that- Hold on, Angelica. I have something to say to you. I'm sorry. What? Well, I said something I shouldn't have said. I called you a thief. It was because I was really defensive. I just lashed out. You know, I had this idea, and then when I saw that you had the same one, I just, I was wrong. Cavri kids, did you hear that? Alice apologized. I guess that means I was right about the idea, huh? No, but you heard her say sorry. That means I get to keep the idea and she has to give it up. Well, if Alice's apology doesn't mean I'm right, what should I do? I should apologize? For what? Oh, well, I guess you have a point. A Alice, Calvary Kids says I ought to apologize too for calling you a plagiarist. I'm sorry. Thank you. But what do we do about the idea we both came up with? Maybe we can share? I know that's really hard for creative people to do. <laughs> well, mm. if we're gonna keep our peace with God, I guess we better try. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Calvary Kids, we're gonna share. We're gonna try really hard. Calvary Kids, thank you so much for coming to our workshop today. And helping us learn about forgiveness. Let's read our bottom line. Take the first step to forgive others. It's the one thing no one wants to do, but it's something that God wants us to do. It's a really big deal to him. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for forgiving us for all the things that we've done. Help us forgive others, even when it's hard. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Calvary Kids, thanks for clicking and have a colorful week. Bye. Bye.